Hello, welcome to another video. It's been a while, but um, here I am again. This time around, we're going to draw a so-called Prusa unit. Uh, and Prusa units are the family to which raccoons and uh, coatis be belong. So they're also called small bears, really. And, um, well, I've chosen to draw a, a rather lesser well-known species of the family, the so-called ringtail, which may be more familiar to people who are American, but definitely not to uh, most Europeans. Oh, let's do that a bit differently. So, ringtails are the smallest Prusa units around, which, spoiler, means uh, I will not be drawing this animal to scale, really, otherwise it might be sort of invisible, but I'll, I will draw it small. Anyways, ringtails are deceptively difficult to draw, I think. It's not an animal that I think I got, I've got the hang of drawing really well, but I'll do my best. So, um, ringtails are a very slenderly built uh, prosa units. I think it might be fitting to call them uh, something like slim down. Uh, raccoons more or less. They've also got a facial mask as you can more or less see. I'll emphasize that a bit later on. And they've got these huge ears which are not necessarily raccoon-like but I, I'd like to think you would get that if you shrunk a raccoon down somewhat while leaving the extremities somewhat bigger. Now I've given, decided to give it big eyes and I've also decided to give it a look, oh, there we are, and give it a look in which it's looking backwards, perhaps having a look at what sort of other carnivorans are there. As you can see, the, the head is rather prominent. They've, they're rather large-headed compared to uh, their body, at least to me. And their legs are deceptively long, really. On first glance, they seem rather small, uh, rather short, because the animal itself is elongate. Um, but by themselves, these legs are actually pretty sizable or lengthy, perhaps. So there we go. As you can see, the body is rather uh, long. The hind legs are also longish, though not uh, extraordinarily so. For a dog, uh, a canine, they would be on the uh, on the shorter side, really, but they're still pretty visible. Now, let's try to give it a bit more of a gut here, and let me see. Yeah, let's give it a dynamic look with the leg, like this. Like raccoons, they've also got very prominent tails. So let's start drawing that tail. Adding to the uh, elongate look of a ring tail, <laughs> you'll see why it's called that. I've decided to draw it like this. So you'll just be looking at the tail right now. You'll have to deal with it. I'll show the whole thing later. So they've got a bushy tail and as the name says, well, got rings. As you can see, I've given them a bit of a curve here to emphasize, I hope, the fact that the tail is not flat of itself. Something of a tube. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Now, given that uh, they are rather subtle, subtly colored with uh, a, a lighter lower side but not very clearly demarked i will i will shade the upper uh, the upper uh, the upper side of the animal a bit like this and the legs though not in the um uh, not in, on the inside of the legs and i'll also need to do that to the face so let's give it a bit of sh oh. Let's give it a bit of this. 
so the uh, leg uh, sorry not the legs so the facial mask which is light colored in these animals it's showing through a bit more clearly though it's still rather well let's emphasize it a bit more the drawing cartoon animals after all so okay here we are a ring tail which uh, is looking like its uh, length has been emphasized a bit i'll give it a bit more fluff so it doesn't look too thin now this is a trick you can pull if you think your animal looks a bit too well thin emaciated if you want here we go anyways once again i hope you enjoyed watching me draw and here was your ring tail bye